The Cowboys <laughs> will add Jimmy <laughs> add Jimmy Johnson to the Ring of Honor December 30th. The Cowboys, uh, I know Jimmy a little bit, having worked at Fox. Um, right. I believe mm -hmm. had egos not gotten involved, mm -hmm. the Cowboys could have been the Patriots before the Patriots got the Patriots. Whoa. But simply, egos became sim sim simply because of the head coach. The owner wanted more credit, and he and the head coach started butting heads. Because you got to think about it. Emmett came in the league at 21. He right. won his last championship in 95. So Emmett was 27. Troy was 28. Mike was 29. Mm. Damn, they were young. Yeah, in their prime. And right. they got Larry Allen. Oh, he's a really, that's, that's strong joke. A strong joker there. They just started. They just started. And that's what you see. You see the difference between Mr. Look and everybody. And, and, and I hate saying that, but, you know, it is what it is. Mr. Right. Kraft. And I'm sure Mr. Kraft. Behind the scenes, you know, mm -hmm. he but he would he Mr. Kraft said, look, I'm I'm content with Paul Tagliabue or Roger mm -hmm. Goodell handing me trophies. Right. I, I don't need no credit because at the end of the day, I own the team. Right. Jeff Bezos is gonna get credit no matter what Amazon does. No he matter what the company. Right. Steve Jobs has been dead for almost a decade now. Rest his soul. Mm -hmm. Whatever Apple does, he's gonna get credit. Right. But a lot of times I gotta get the credit. And Jerry once said there are 500 other coaches that could coach this team. Mm. 500? Wait, he said it like that for real? Yeah, he said it like that. So do you think one of the reasons? For the Cowboys' demise and not being able to reach a Super Bowl is because Jerry getting in the way of Jerry. Yeah, yeah, absolutely, absolutely. So, is there anyone that can actually tell him that, or is he one of those that just doesn't listen because he's in a position of power and ownership? Well, if you look at his business card, it says owner, CEO, VP, custodian, <laughs> he uh, executive assistant. He right. has all the titles. Right. And when you have all the titles, but I think this is very, I think Jimmy is very deserving. Mm -hmm. uh, if you go back and look at the Cowboy coaches, they've only had two great ones. He and right. Coach Landry. Right. Uh, he started, because what Jimmy could do, Jimmy came out of college. So Jimmy won at every level. Mm -hmm. He won at UM. You know, he won at University of Miami. Mm -hmm. He was at Okie State before he came to UM. Right. He was on that pit, he was on that uh, pit staff in the early 80s uh, mm -hmm. with Marino and, and with Marino them. Uh, so, but Jimmy was in college. So all these guys that's coming to the league, Jimmy knew who could play because right. Jimmy recruited him. Mm -hmm. So now he's like, oh, I will, I tried to recruit him at the University of Miami. I could right. get, let me grab him now. Let me right. get him now. Let me get him now. And Jimmy, Jimmy about that work. Mm -hmm. Oh, it, it wasn't no, it wasn't no, it no. See, the problem was, is that once Jimmy was removed, Jerry wanted a relationship with the players. So if anything that they liked, they could go upstairs. They could circumvent the head coach. See, you couldn't do that with Jimmy. Right. Oh, you couldn't do that with Jimmy. See, guy fell asleep in the meeting before the playoffs. Jimmy cut him. The reporter what? asked The reporter asked him. He said, well, if, what if that was Troy that fell asleep in the meeting? He said, I woke his ass up. <laughs> you see the difference? <laughs> you treat everybody fair. You don't treat them all the same. Right. But uh, I think this award is this award is very very deserving right. for Jimmy and what he was able to do for the Cowboys because mm -hmm. this you look at the guys the Troy the uh, the Emmitts um, the the right. uh, the trade and I think Jerry had a lot more to do with the trade of my uh, uh, of Troy uh, uh, Charles Haley mm -hmm. because I don't think Jimmy per se wanted him because he had heard all the stories about Charles and Charles <laughs> was, a, was, a, was a was a very different was a, yeah. was a different animal. Oh yeah, it was a different animal. Mm -hmm. <laughs> but to get three championships in four years, it probably could have been four, five, and eight years. Mm. But hey, because because here's the thing, Ocho. Everybody wants credit. Everybody wants credit. But he, he was day, gonna get the credit anyway. He's the owner. I'm not sure why he always has to be front and center. Even still today, he has to be front and center doing interviews. You know, speaking talking, to everybody like I, 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 talk, I don't, un talking. I don't understand. I don't understand. Because I don't understand. You that boy. You already that that boy. I'm not sure why you need to do that. 
because he wants to be the face. Because think about it. They say Jack, Zach, Dak is not the face of the Cowboys. Jerry is. Jerry's the face of the Cowboys. The first person you think of when you talk about the Dallas Cowboys, who? Jerry Jones. Right, right. That's not normal. What other, the only other time that that's probably happened is that in the Yankees with George Steinbrenner. Mm-hmm. And I know George is a little, uh, uh, Mr. Steinbrenner is a little bit before your time, but he was like that. He dominated all the airspace and when you thought, and he had great players, mm-hmm. but it was, you thought of Mr. Steinbrenner. And that's right. what Jerry, that's what Jerry wants. He see the owners don't get the love and adorations that players get. No matter how much money you got, they love them players. Right, Why do you right, think Jerry right. be hanging out and buying them drinks? Jerry want to be a player. And what comes along with that? But it's his team. I mean, yeah. hey, what you going to Hey, that's like you the king of your castle, right? Ain't nobody yeah. fit to tell you, hey, Ocho, man, you need to put a blue couch in here. Nah, Ocho, you need to move that TV. You're like, get, get, get your ass out of my house. This is my <laughs> house. I'll decorate it how I want to. Jerry right. says, I own the Cowboys, and I'll do with them as I say. I see. Yeah. Yeah, that, that, well, that's crazy. Congratulations, uh, congratulations, uh, uh, Jimmy. Honor well deserved. Uh, yep, December yep. 30th, he's going into the ring of fame and joining other greats. Coach Landry, Bob Lilly, Randy White, Emmett Smith, Michael Irvin, uh, 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 Troy Aikman. There's some of the – whoo, they got some um, – I think Rayfield Wright's up there. Uh, they got a lot of Hall of Famers. And Jimmy's in the Hall of Fame, so he should be up there. I think if you make the Hall of Fame, you definitely need to be in the ring of honor for uh, said team. Most definitely. 